Welcome to how to create an interactive rubric. Interactive rubrics may be associated with many gradable content items in Blackboard, including blogs, journals, wikis, discussion forums, assignments, and short answer, file response, or essay questions in tests. You may also use them with a grade center column. Follow these steps to build an interactive rubric. Log in to Blackboard and access one of your courses. Under Control Panel, click on Course Tools to expand your Course Tool menu and scroll down to Rubrics. Click on Create Rubric. Now enter in some basic information about your rubric. It's a good idea to use something that's descriptive and will help you identify the rubric later because one of the nice features of rubrics in Blackboard is that you may copy them to use in other courses and to share with colleagues. In this example, I'm going to use a basic rubric for a discussion forum. Now scroll down to part two, which is your rubric detail area. By default, Blackboard will give you a three by three rubric. So there are three rows and three columns. The rows are the individual criteria. So what you're gonna be grading them on, such as formatting, spelling, length of response. The columns are the levels of achievement. In my rubric, I actually have five different criteria and four levels of achievement. And I can add more by clicking Add Row and Add Column. And you'll see each time you add a new row or column, it shows you in green. Now I want to select my rubric type. Blackboard gives you the option of no points, points, a point range, or percent. The way a percent rubric works is you specify the percentage of the overall grade that you're going to determine based on each criteria. So perhaps you want formatting to be 10% of the grade, the organization to be 10, and then the comment to be 80. Then you can use the same rubric for multiple assignments worth different points. So you can have a paper early on in a course worth 10 or 20 points and a paper later worth 100 and Blackboard will change your, the points of the rubric to match the overall points of the assignment. Point range is a very nice feature because it gives you a lot of flexibility in your rubric. Instead of having to stick with always giving one point for, say, um, being competent in formatting. You can give students between one and three points. For this case, I'm going to just select points. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to change the names for my level of achievement. And to do that, you just click on the chevron next to the word, click on edit, type in what you'd like to see, and then click save. you see that there's also an option to delete the column. So if I had too many columns, I could always just select delete and it would remove one of the columns for me. I'm just going to fill in one row for demonstration purposes. and I'll put in the points and then some description. It's nice to give some constructive useful information in each of these boxes for students because it gives them feedback that you do not have to type individually per student. Now 
you'll notice that there's also a spell check here. So I can just click on the ABC and check mark and it will spell check that box. Wonderful. Just continue to go through and add points in your description for each box and then when you're all done you scroll down and click submit. And you've now successfully created a rubric. For more assistance visit our website www.grcc.edu slash learnbb to access more tip sheets and videos. If you're having technical issues, contact IT Help. And if you have questions about how to do something in Blackboard or training, contact dlit at grcc.edu.